Good morning, everybody. We are here live with Beck McCormick from Autumn Lane Papery. I wanted to first stop and thank you guys all for taking the time to hop on here. Um, if you have any questions along the way, feel free to ask and uh, one or both of us will give you an answer. And also, if you're catching the replay, feel free to post replay down below so we know that you were here. And also, I wanted to I wanted to make sure that you guys know that Beck has offered us an amazing discount of 15% off uh, most all of her products through the end of March. So she's extended this coupon for quite a while. So I'm going to actually, I will post that in the comments below and then after the broadcast, I'll post it up above so that you have easy access to it. And hold on, let me let me get this going. I'll post it right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me get this broadcast up on my phone so I can post it for you guys. We have a lot of neat stuff to talk about today, you guys. Uh, obviously, this whole first season of the Moms Making Money show is all about confidence and women having confidence, overcoming their self-doubt and their fears about starting um, a business on their own and kind of taking those first steps. So I want to, I'm going to go ahead and paste this now. All right, and I'm pinning it to the top. Okay, we're good to go. Oh, Casey's here. Hey, Casey. <laughs> Casey's one of our clients. <laughs> hey. Uh, well, <laughs> well, I have to say, too, I am one of Beck's clients. She and her team did all of my custom logos, and I have. it took me a really long time to decide what I wanted because even her pre-made logo, she has so, so, so many gorgeous designs. So, actually, <laughs> we added about 100 more, so we've got an awesome tool on our, our website now that makes it easier for everybody. Oh, it's perfect. It's amazing. So I wanted to introduce Beck and I, um, she has quite a wonderful story and I wanted to just let her talk to us. Tell us a little bit about yourself and kind of how you got started on your journey and taking those steps to being a business owner. For sure. So obviously I'm Beck. Um, I'm living in Southern California currently and I'm the CEO of Autumn Lane Papery. Um, we're a family business. Um, my husband works with me. We have five kids, one of which currently works with us, and the second one will be coming on board this summer. Um, basically, we do logo design, websites, custom branding. Um, I'm a font designer as well, and we also just started adding styled stock images to our uh, collection. Uh, we're here for the female business owner, and um, you know, Autumn Lane was kind of a surprise. Um, I was a grad student and I really wanted to be able to help financially while my husband was working outside of the home. Um, so kind of took a stab at it. It started with wedding stationery and kind of snowballed from there because people started asking about whether or not we do logo design. And it was clear that there was a little corner of the market that needed to be filled. People needed to feel connected with who they were working with, somebody that was passionate about what they do and also passionate about helping other people. Yes. So uh, within about six months of starting Autumn Lane and moving into the logo and business branding, my husband was able to sell his landscaping company and come on board to work with me. So it's kind of, we've grown from there. We're five strong now, so. Oh, we've got Carolyn on. She loves your work too. Hi, Carolyn. That's fantastic. Um, I mean, I found you guys, I don't know, like a year ago or so. And I I can't even imagine having worked with anybody else. Like you guys just like had like the whole vibe of like what exactly I was looking for. Um, so th I'm I'm so glad that you took that, that leap and started your business. Um, Tell us kind of, um, I know you and I have talked about this, but tell us a little bit about like how Autumn Lane came to be and 
what kind of like self doubts you had or still have, or like fears of starting your own business. Like, tell me a little bit about that. And then like how you overcame those. Um, definitely imposter syndrome where you kind of feel like people are going to feel like you're a fraud because my degrees are not related to design at all. My master's is in organizational leadership. And while it does help with the consultation side of what we're doing, I don't have that certificate that says, yay, you're a designer. Yay, you've been educated formally on this. So I've always kind of questioned whether or not people are going to view us as legitimate designers. We're self-taught and you know, I think that formal education is great if it's what you feel like you need to do. But we've had to work extra hard in order to make sure that people take us seriously, that people trust us, they think that we're credible. So feeling like people aren't going to take you seriously, feeling like people are going to be like, oh, you're not a real designer, kind of makes me, um, I still struggle with it. We've been in business for almost four years now. And I'm still like, do I get to call myself a designer? Am I really a designer? Because I don't have that degree that says, you know, yay, you're a designer. So it kind of, it keeps me on my toes because I don't, I don't want to take this business and our clients for granted. I don't want to wake up in the morning and think that the business is always going to be there. Right. So rather than having that fear and that doubt eat away at me, I kind of, I'm channeling it into, well, let's see how we can do this better. Let's see how we can modify this. Let's keep this going. Let's kind of build this up to be like, I call it my own like little mini empire. And that's really what it's turned out to be for our family. And it's, it's amazing that we get to work with people all around the world. So. Yes. And I love that you're a family based like business. I absolutely love that. Um, I, I think that's so awesome. And I feel like what you're talking about with imposter syndrome, every single one of us um, who's ever started a business or, tried to start a business or wants to start a business, that thought comes through our, I mean, maybe we don't know to call it imposter syndrome, but we feel like, oh my God, who's going to take us seriously? Or why would they come to me? Uh, whether, you know, maybe if you're a beach body coach, you would fear that, why would somebody come to me? I'm not a personal trainer. I'm not a nutritionist, but you really know what you're talking about. Um, we've got some comments coming in. Uh -huh. Hi. <laughs> yes, yes, Casey, I totally agree. I totally agree. Um, so a lot of people have that that doubt like that. Why would some like why me instead of saying like, well, why not me? Like, I mean, obviously, like your guys' stuff is like it's totally badass. Like you have something for everybody. And if it's not in one of your premates, you'll make it like, you know, like your team, like took my vision and made what I wanted. So. I mean, I think it's now safe to say that you can, you guys can call yourselves graphic designers for sure. Um, and especially you have over 5,000 people who are happy clients. I mean, I, I'd say that, I'd say you guys qualify, but that's such a real fear for so many people. And, um, you know, it for some people it holds them back, you know, whereas with you, you use it to kind of fuel yourself to, to you know take it to the next level and almost kind of prove yourself wrong whereas a lot of people won't even start because they're so afraid um tell me a little bit more about i know you talked about your story being that it was either you make the business work or you go get a part-time job uh let's talk a little bit about that yeah i was um probably hours away from submitting applications to go work outside the home. Um, I was going to school full time, but it was night school. So I was home during the day. I had time, time on my hands, you know, <laughs> as much as possible with grad school and, you know, making sure that everything is okay on the home front. And but, kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I really wanted to be able to have something where I could work from home, where I could make my own hours, where I had that flexibility. Like just the other day, I had to go pick up a sick kid from school. Right. And I said, you know, this is exactly why I'm doing this. Yeah, Being so able to pick up whenever I need to, go wherever I need to, and say, everything else can wait just a little while to take care of everybody. Um, you know, it was legitimately hours, and I was about to click the send button, and hopefully 
make a little bit of money. But by the time I figured everything out with the orders that were starting to come in, if I stayed at home and worked a handful of hours, I was making just as much as I would if I left the home and worked 20 hours. So and you uh, don't have to pay daycare. You know, let's see where we can take this. And, you know, if it wasn't for everybody else, all of our clients, like believing in what we put out there for people, we obviously wouldn't be here right now. Right. So thanks to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So not everybody standing behind us. But yeah, it was a, it was definitely a rocky time trying to figure out what we should do so that I could contribute more than what I was already with. GI Bill because that's how I was going to school. Right, right. Um, what it what was it like inside of you that you just decided like nope, I'm just gonna go for it. Um, <laughs> being told that I shouldn't do it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Being told that I shouldn't do it, that maybe I should consider not. So. I have this quote and I've always liked the quote. I liked the quote before I ever, ever like even considered the idea of becoming a business owner myself. And the quote kind of, I may say it a little bit wrong because I'm not like reading it, but it says, I did it because I can, I can because I want to, and I want to because you said I couldn't. And so I don't know. I've just always been like drawn to that quote. And so what you just said totally made me think of that, you know, like kind of like being that, rebellious kid, the don't touch the cookies and then you're sneaking cookies type of thing, you know? <laughs> but that's perfect. And, you know, I feel like so many, so many women, especially like stay at home moms who want to do something more, they want to have a financial contribution in addition to all the, you know, 37 million other things that they do as like a home and mom and wife contribution, um, that they feel like, they feel a little bit stuck because, you know, they're afraid to start their own thing. But on the flip side, they could go get a job someplace, even if it was a relatively decent paying job. But they're paying out almost their entire paycheck in child care and then missing out on that time with their children. So this online space of being able to not only connect on a personal level and make new, you know, build new relationships it's also a way for, you know, for women to be able to stay home and build their business, you know, during the morning time, during nap time, kind of on their own schedule. You know what I mean? Um, okay. I want to also highlight, I put in the comments too, that Beck is super awesome that she is offering a 15% discount through March. I put the coupon code, the MMM15. Um, in the bottom, as well as a direct link to get to her. Uh, check it. Check out all of the stuff she has to offer. But I wanted her to tell us a little bit more about Autumn Lane Papery. Sure. Um, we offer everything from pre-made logo designs all the way to website design and even setting up a point of sale terminal for our clients. Like we'll actually go to you, set things up, train you up on it. So we've got it from the business owner on a really tight budget. Our pre-made logos are $17 or, you know, we've got the bigger packages for people that are really, you know, ready to take the plunge to jump in with both feet and say, let's do this. Let's make this happen. So, right. And web design too, right? We do. We do web design. Um, we've got a few different options available. We've got a couple of pre-made websites that um, it's kind of the website version of the pre-made logo. And we yeah. also, custom website design as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and I one thing that I think that um, is important to mention is I found that um, that all of your stuff is highly affordable, even without the coupon code. So that makes it so easy to to take that step and be like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to get a logo because it's, you know, it's less than dinner for two at McDonald's really, if you think about it. <laughs> well, that's one of the things that, um, that we're really happy about because, you know, one of the things that I was telling my husband prior to going live was that I'm a mom making money, but what we do helps moms that want to make money. Yes. Yes. To make sure that 
you know, there's an option available for everybody because, you know, if you're just starting a business, you might not have the budget for, you know, a large custom branding package. You might not even think that you need it. Right. But we want to make sure that it's accessible to everybody and that everybody can have that same experience with us that somebody cares about their business. It's not just you caring about your business, like your baby, because that's what it is for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like another child. You have to, you have to care for it. You have to feed it. You have to, yep. you have to be with it like all the time. So we really want to make sure that nobody feels left out with regard to being able to put their best foot forward in the business world. Right, right. And I, I can totally agree with that. Like, for me, even I have a variety of, you know, and some people keep telling me like, you should raise your prices, you should raise your prices. But I feel better offering something that's in reach for pretty much everybody, you know, because I was there at one time, like I knew, like when I was starting out, there was no way I could go pay somebody thousands and thousands of dollars, you know, to, to get me moving along. I just, it wasn't in the cards for me. So having, having something that, you know, for everybody, I think is so, I think it's smart. And I think, I think that is so helpful and people really appreciate that. Uh, Carrie says, so true, trying to balance work and family and business with money. It is hard. It's a hard struggle. It's, yeah. it, it, that in itself can give you the self doubt every once in a while. I mean, I'm a certified confidence coach and every once in a while I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Like I should be doing the dishes, but I'm working, you know, I'm sending out these emails or I'm, you know, doing this or scheduling appointments or, or whatever. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, like you said, it's something that you feel like every, you know, like in your body, it's like almost like a baby and you just, you can't, you can't just shake it off. And, um, you know, like, it, it like calls to you. Like if you know, like you're really in alignment with what you should be doing and help, like you said, you're a mom making money, but you're helping other moms make money too. And I, I that's the whole, that's basically in a nutshell, the whole reason why we're doing this show is to show you guys, all of you that it's so possible to, to do all of this, you know? I'm okay. Comment right now. Yes, absolutely. We can help. I'm sure that Amy's going to be posting my contact information if she hasn't already done so. So you're welcome to drop me a line and I'll let you know how we can help you. Yes, go ahead and check it out. I already dropped a link down below with the coupon code. Um, so if you're ever unsure of where to find it, you can always click back over to this video. And of course, you know, I, I love, you know, the work that Beck does. So feel free to share this video. Feel free to share the link um, and, you know, use up those logos. I mean, there's so many to choose from. And there's also, you know, the custom logo packages. If you're worried that your logo may look too much like somebody else's or, or whatever, which there's so many, there's literally like thousands that I don't think that'll be a problem either. All right, guys, we're getting close to wrapping up. We've still got a few minutes. If anybody has any questions, now's the time. Um, if you have any questions for Beck about how she got started or anything else that you can think of um, about Autumn Lane, if you have any questions for me, feel free to post them in. I know there's a little bit of a delay, so we'll uh, we'll just keep going and we'll we'll get that going. Um, Beck, also, do you, what is your Instagram, uh, your Instagram handle? Because I know that a lot of people prefer Instagram over Facebook. Just Beck McCormick. Beck McCormick. I'm going to post it so that everybody can see it. Let me make sure I got it right. So you can follow her on Instagram and, uh, you know, just keep up with her on her story with Autumn Lane and all the new stuff that's coming out because let me just tell you, it is awesome. Uh, what for the websites, I guess it might be important to know what platforms do you do you work with? Is it WordPress? Is it Wix? Is it Squarespace? Primarily WordPress. WordPress is like, that's what we do is WordPress. We also work with Shopify and we've started offering Squarespace as well because some people are more comfortable with that. Yes. Yeah. When they're like, if they're bloggers or just kind of starting out. Agreed. Agreed. Oh, we've got another note here. Tell Jeff hello from us. Okay. <laughs> He's watching Casey. <laughs> Yay. 
Okay. Mary, if you're still on, where do you have your website? Uh, the website is autumnlanepapery.com. Okay. You'll be able to access all of the options from the nav bar there. We've got it divided up into pre-made logos, custom branding, websites, and other offerings. Okay. And I know now too, you just, you guys just started. Okay. And Mary has hers in Wix. Is, can you guys still help her um, with her website design? We might be able to, but we can, we can figure yes. out the details. If it's just branding that she's looking for, then that should be something that she could easily update on her own rather than having to construct a totally new website. Yeah, and I use Wix and I use all your stuff. So it's not ever been a problem at all. All of the, um, because you give so many different formats of the images that it it works perfectly. Um, what was I just gonna say? Oh, here's another one. Carrie says, does the website setup include future maintenance and support? We have a limited period of time after the website launches that we still offer maintenance, but we also offer maintenance subscriptions as well. Perfect. That's that's wonderful. That's amazing. <laughs> I was going to say something and now I totally forgot. <laughs> it's one of those things. It's the mom brain <laughs> that we the squirrel that we were talking about earlier. Um, well, good, good. I'm super glad. Um, what was I going to say? Oh. I actually just bought some of your stock imagery that you guys you guys just added stock imagery to um, to your website and it's gorgeous you guys I bought it for um, I because in my blog I still do health health tips and whatever and I bought the essential oils um, style of uh, the stock imagery sorry I'm stumbling on my words today <laughs> it's too early in the morning here More coffee. <laughs> Yes, more coffee. My, it's. I was telling Beck earlier. It's my life juice. <laughs> the stock images seem to be working pretty well for people. We're really excited to keep offering those. Um, my longtime friend Mary is our photographer, and she's got some amazing stuff in the works that we're really excited to release at a later date. So. And you guys, it's so super affordable. Like, what was it? Like fourteen dollars for. I don't even know how many it was way more images than I was expecting. I was expecting like five or six images for that price. And I think it came with like 30 or something crazy. Don't quote me on that, but it was a lot. Yeah, that's one of the bigger sets. And um, it's the one that I think I'm most excited about so far. <laughs> well, keep an eye out in my in my health blog. I haven't been I haven't been doing a lot of blogging lately, but um, but I'm really excited to get back into it. And uh, you'll see, you'll see uh, Beck's handiwork. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got a few more comments here. I'm going to check it out as soon as this video is done. Awesome, Kendra. You'll love it. She's got a ton of good stuff. And like I said, it's so super affordable. And she's got something pretty much for every business um, and every vibe, like every branding essence. I mean, all kinds of stuff everything from like cutting edge and like super like i don't know, bold to like subtle watercolors and um you know whether you're a bakery she's got a, something with the the most adorable cupcake like lots of <laughs> i could go on and on <laughs> check it out <laughs> all right well We'll give it just another second for a few more questions to come in. Like I said, there's a bit of a delay, but I'm so super excited that you agreed to uh, let me interview you today and feature you and all your guys' hard work and, you know, really talk about a little bit of that imposter syndrome that I think so many people, so many people feel that way when they're starting out or about to start out. And I feel like that in itself gives people so much like, self-doubt that some people never take the first step some people never put themselves out there and the thing is is if you're good at it which you guys clearly are if you know what you're doing which you clearly do and you love doing it then take those first steps you guys there's no reason not to take the steps there's no reason there's no reason to let that that self-doubt like cloud your judgment because 
if it's something you love, it's something you're good at, like I said, that's your truth, not the, not the, you know, story of fear that you're telling yourself. So follow your heart, follow what really sets your soul on fire, like what you feel like beating through your body and in your blood and in your veins every day. If that's what lights you up, then do it. Um, and, and do it unapologetically. Like, you know, like, like Beck said, she just went kind of all in and, and it it's grown to you know that over five thousand customers. So um, that's about it, you guys. Oh, perfect. Uh, Carrie um, Beck sent you a message here. So okay, well I think that wraps up our interview for today. Thank you so much, Beck, for for joining me and sharing your story and motivating so many people today. I'm so excited. Um, Feel free to share this video on your page if you'd like. And anybody else, if you think that somebody could benefit from, you know, hearing Beck's story, feel free to share it. Okay, guys. I'll talk to you later.